Hi guys, this is Hailey. So today I'm going to talk about sunscreen, especially for foundation free. I've been asked a lot what kind of sunscreen I'm using for foundation free or if I just do apply concealer or bronzing powder just over the sunscreen. So I'm going to answer some questions you guys asked me and some tips for choosing sunscreen for foundation free. I think it's very important to choose good or right sunscreen for your skin. Even if you don't wear makeup, I think it could be more like picky. I'm gonna tell four tips to choose sunscreen. First thing, the sunscreen should be the similar to the foundation you use. If you have oily skin, you might choose matte foundation, and if you have dry skin, you might choose the moist and very water foundation so i think it is the same as when you choose a sunscreen so i have a quite dry skin so when i choose sunscreen i always if the texture is very moist and if it leaves like very dry finish or too silky finish i always always choose very moist texture and formula sunscreen for um foundation free I think choosing sunscreen should be the same as choosing the foundation so I think it's very important to know your skin type and the second one is not greasy and sticky if the sunscreen is really greasy and very sticky and it does and things like that will easily get on your face I think that's not good for our skin so nothing will cover your skin nothing will like kind of protect your skin because you don't wear any foundation or any powder so I think it is very important so third one is no white cast if you are okay to leave your skin a little bit pale or a little bit more like lighter when you apply the sunscreen then it's okay for you but I just don't like the white cast I just hate the when sunscreen leaves my face very white because it looks unnatural on my face if you have kind of similar skin tone to me, then you might find this very unnatural and it seems like you put too much powder on your face or too much like toner cream on your face. If you're not gonna use any foundation, then you might not want any unnatural white thing on your face. So I think it's very, very important to use no white cast sunscreen. And fourth thing is feeling comfortable when it gets into your eyes. So I struggle with this a lot of times, especially in humid weather. Normally in summer, I apply more than twice the amount of when I apply in the winter. And uh, when I sweat, the sweat comes from the forehead. And I apply the sunscreen on my forehead and it melts and gets into my eyes and it's really really hurts like it's stinging I hate that feeling when I didn't know the problem of my sunscreen so change the sunscreen um, then I found that oh the problem was the sunscreen so and also even if you just worry about stinging your eyes with the sunscreen you can just put a little bit of powder after you apply the sunscreen on your forehead and it's gonna be fine because I try many t like ways to prevent my eyes getting hurt but found this um, using a good sunscreen and um, using a little bit of powder on my forehead work really well so if you have a problem with the like stingy eyes when you apply sunscreen I just recommend this way yeah, these are my tips for choosing sunscreen for foundation free. But I'm gonna also recommend four sunscreen I am using for foundation free. So it could be good for you if you have dry skin or normal skin. So I'm going to start from the thickest texture to very like moist texture. So first sunscreen is from Cosrx Aloe Soothing Sunscreen. So I mentioned this sunscreen in my hybrid uh, skincare video for summer. I only used this sunscreen when I was in Thailand in humid summer weather. So 
it doesn't leave any like greasy, any shine on my face, and it absorbs very like quickly. It doesn't have any white hair, so I didn't actually wear any foundation in summer. So I found it it worked really well if you don't have any foundation on your face. It's not gonna hurt your eyes if it's getting to your eyes. So I recommend this sunscreen if you have normal skin. The second one is from Innisfree Daily UV Protection Cream Mild version. It's a SPF 35 PA++. So if you're looking for affordable sunscreen, I will definitely recommend this product because I use this sunscreen from the, um, early 20. It could be over three years or four years, I think. It's a water-based type sunscreen so it's very like lightweight texture i use this sunscreen like all seasons so even in winter even in summer i just love this sunscreen it's also safe for your eyes so i recommend this sunscreen if you have just normal or any dry skin and the third one i think this sunscreen is the most moist sunscreen i have so this is from biore is a UV aqua rich watery essence as it say it's literally like watery essence sunscreen so if you have really really dry skin uh, I think it will be really really good for you and sometimes I don't like the feeling of like applying sunscreen greasy or too oily I just enjoy applying this sunscreen because it's like applying the moisturizer so it gives me a bit of pleasant when I apply this so last sunscreen is uh, from Cray Beauty the Beats the Sun SPA 47 PA++++ I finally got this sunscreen because I really wanted to try this sunscreen so even if I wear makeup or not makeup I just use this sunscreen every single day I think these two sunscreen have kind of similar texture but I think this one is more watery but it's very lightweight fluid liquid sunscreen even if it's getting to my eyes it's really safe and comfortable so I love love this sunscreen nowadays I do also enjoy applying this sunscreen so if you do not enjoy applying sunscreen I uh, will recommend this sunscreen because it feels like applying moisturizer so I've been loving this sunscreen so I would recommend this sunscreen for normal skin or even dry skin so these are my sunscreen recommendations and I've been also asked a lot of how do I do minimal makeup over sunscreen. Sometimes I want to apply the bronzing powder or powder blush on just sunscreen. But if you wear makeup after you apply sunscreen straight away, but sunscreen doesn't absorb into your skin like completely. Blush or bronzing powder, it does like leave the edges. So with using powder blush or bronzing powder, I uh, use a bit of powder the area I want to use a blush or a bronzing powder so I'm picking any like powder and then applying around my out of my face and like cheekbones after that I apply the bronzing powder or powder blush if you just struggle with do like contour makeup over the sunscreen I do recommend to use a powder and second one I could recommend if you just worry about um, just using concealer over the sunscreen I just recommend to use any primer on your skin before you use a concealer especially underneath your eyes you're gonna apply the concealer or around your lips because you don't want to make it get easily removed so I used to use uh, YSL the primer and then I apply the around my eyes to get more like long lasting look and it does really well so, so these are all of things about sunscreen for foundation 3 i hope you guys find this really really helpful i think it could long time to find the right sunscreen for your skin it's the same as choosing the right foundation for your skin type so hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one bye